Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, the end is near. Oh, what a world. It's over. Oh, we're all going to die. Hi, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And uh, it is time for a bit of a rant about music and AI. First, I want to tell you that I have a, a little tour coming up. Look at how little it is. It's right there. It's so little. It's a baby. Uh, but that hasn't stopped us from uh, selling out the first date over here in Vancouver. Uh, we also have dates in Seattle, Portland, San Fran, LA, and San Diego coming up in May. Tickets down below. Grab them while you can. Okay. So Warner Music Group has signed, uh, essentially AI, has signed an algorithm kind of as an artist. Uh, Endel, which is a music app that builds music for your moods. Uh, it's, it's essentially been brought into the fold by the label. Uh, Consequence of Sound, who is not the only uh, platform reporting on this, has been great enough to, uh, I guess, sort of provide some uh, clips and, and sounds from the app down below over here. We will link you to this article, of course, in the description box. And a lot of people have been freaking out about this, saying, oh my god, they're replacing artists. And and certainly this is worrying. I think that uh, a lot of artists out there, and rightfully so, fear uh, being replaced by robots and programs and ones and zeros, and there won't be any need for songwriters or producers or anything anymore because uh, whatever app you're using will just kind of do all of it for you. Uh, however, I, I kind of doubt that that's going to be the case anytime soon, that you're going to have um, AI that is going to be uh, as artistically intuitive as uh, as a human being and whether or not machines or uh, uh, algorithms will be able to kind of bring new sounds and trends, ideas into the fold as opposed to just kind of copying or mimicking uh, what music and, and sounds that uh, programmers have been able to feed into uh, whatever app or algorithm they are presenting to consumers. Um, I wouldn't freak out too hard about this as of right now because basically the purpose of this app is to provide wallpaper music, background music, that sort of thing. Uh, we've already seen, unfortunately, uh, platforms like Spotify not really respecting these styles of music in the way that uh, maybe they should with uh, just throwing like you know, no name music artists into playlists uh, that are supposed to be, you know, for ambient artists and, and that sort of thing. Uh, and now it seems like that territory is being encroached upon further. Uh, however, after sampling numerous tracks that have been presented here <laughs> by this app, honestly, they sound kind of like shit. It's, it sounds bad. It does not sound good. It sort of sounds like very generic, kind of lo fi ghostly chords and tones just sort of slapped together with some white noise. I wouldn't really play it in any other context other than it's literally just on in the background and I'm not paying any attention to it whatsoever. However, uh, if I was going to do something like that, I, I think I would want something with a bit better of a mood than this. Uh, there are some elements of it that just sound like a really bad you know, Tim Hecker rave death <laughs> ripoff. Um, and it, again, it's just absolute uh, kind of trash in my opinion. However, I, I do uh, sort of salute Warner a little bit for uh, uh, kind of jumping ahead of the curve here and thinking, okay, well, you know, maybe this algorithm stuff, maybe this AI stuff is the future. And I think audiences, uh, while there are a lot of artists out there who will freak out at this headline, I do think audiences generally uh, will be receptive to exactly this kind of thing if it's being presented to them in a way where, hey, you know, this isn't your favorite singer-songwriter, this isn't Frank Ocean, this isn't something that's going to move you, it's just, it's utilitarian, you know, it's just chill-out music, it's just, you know, mind-numbing, do-nothing, you know, just relax-type music. If you uh, sort of sell audiences on this music serving more of a functional purpose than an emotional purpose, I think a lot of people won't really have any reservations with with listening to it, even though, like, um, you know, a, a robot or an algorithm or a program made it necessarily. However, is that sort of the first step in the wrong direction? You know, will that put us in a position where you do have some people who uh, sort of 
gain an emotional dependence or an affinity for this music, even though it is made by a robot, and that sort of puts them in a position where they're open to hear more music made by algorithms. And down the road, maybe the algorithms get even better and start making more compelling music compositionally, and, and maybe are able to incorporate like an emotional component into what they're doing. And then before you know it, uh, all of our pop stars are, are algorithms. Maybe that's the road we're headed down here. I'm not entirely sure, but a few things to contemplate. Would that not put us in a position where essentially the programmers of the algorithm or the programmers of whatever this software is, that they essentially become the artists? Because that's really who's being signed here, essentially, either the programmers or the company that made the program. They are essentially the artists. They are essentially the people who are going to be paid. You're not going to like turn on the news one day and then all of a sudden like an algorithm's out there jumping out of a limo. They're stunting. They're looking fresh. They've spent $200,000 on a chain. Though I do wonder if we're moving toward a future where the programmers of the algorithm become the new pop stars and they're the ones who are like really sexy and they're the people who we idolize. Oh my God. But still, even if you do have more labels signing more apps that are creating utilitarian ambient music and relaxation soundtracks, I still think that puts us in a future where there's going to be room for that and there's also going to be room for like Mac DeMarco. When we get to the point where AI and algorithms can artistically do everything that humans do and also come up with new things that humans are not coming up with, uh, and those things are actually hitting with audiences until all of that stuff is occurring. I'm not sure we need to freak out. But still, I do find this story and this concept kind of interesting. And it does, I think, put a lot of people, especially in the ambient music world, uh, in a sort of precarious situation. Because honestly, I would hate to think of somebody listening to <laughs> this record and, and loving it and it being like a part of their usual everyday musical diet. Uh, and yet there are so many other more compelling ambient releases out there, honestly, which I think would serve as even better mood setters than the handful of tracks I, I heard off of uh, what Endel has, has offered here. So those are essentially my thoughts on the situation as of right now. Uh, you guys are free to check out this article and some music from the Endel app below, and uh, we will see you in, in the next one, okay? You're the best, you're the best, you're the best. Over here is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Uh, Ambient Thany Fan Endel, forever.